Hello, it's Blake Scarlevi, and I'm going to be bringing a new series to you where I'm going to show off some newer and in-preview features that are coming out. Uh, so to kick this off, the very first one I got is uh, just an awesome feature that's going to come in handy for anybody that's using Power Automate. It's the ability uh, to get your Power Automate uh, runs uh, stored in a data dataverse table uh, so this is huge you know previously they're just kind of hidden uh, you can see them through the UI uh, when you're uh, looking at your specific flow you can kind of see like when it ran if it failed how long it took etc you could use leverage like one of the power automate APIs to kind of pull that data um, but now it's stored in Dataverse, so we can leverage um, all our great reporting tools, Power BI, whatnot, um, to uh, easily run analytics off that data. We can, since it's in Dataverse, we can trigger uh, Power Automates off of, off of it um, and any other various plugins or whatnot. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, it is a preview feature right now, so you do have to enable it. Uh, so as always with preview features, you want to go to your admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com. Uh, you have to be an admin of your environment. If you are, you can browse to your specific environment. Uh, make sure you're on the latest updates here, release wave one. Uh, and then go to settings at the top. And then we got to expand product. And then features. This is like all the way at the very bottom. Uh, towards the very bottom here. So we have this cloud flow run history and Dataverse labeled preview. Uh, there are some options here. So to completely disable it or get a seven day retention, 14 days or 28 days. So it is similar to when you browse to your Power Automate flow, it only shows you a 28 day history. So that's the, uh, the same here. So if we want more, we would have to um, you know, push that data off somewhere. Um, and so once you have this set, should be good to go. Um, I'm not quite sure how long it takes for it to show up. Um, that's something I need to look into. But if you flip to the maker portal, you can then go to your tables and you should be able to search for one called flow run. And then from here, we can take a look and see what we got. So in this environment, we got quite a bit of runs. Um, so here we can see um, who the flow was ran by, the duration, the end time, if there was an error, um, the specific error details, the flow run ID. Let's see, what else did we got? The start time, the status, whether it succeeded or failed or whatnot, uh, and the type of trigger it uses, uh, and then the name of the flows itself as well. So as you can see, this can come in really handy. Um, you know, a few things we can leverage the, the duration, right? So we could build some reports that are uh, kind of taking the average duration per flow to see uh, you know how long it's taking see if there's any optimizations we can do we can also calculate the amount of errors for that specific flow um, so we can kind of just build reports to be proactive about what's going on we can then also uh, build power automates that trigger when a flow run is created or updated and we could like you know check the status here for example so we could have a power automate that triggers when this is updated and if the status has failed then we like fire off an email or maybe a teams message or whatnot so we can know instantly like hey like say we have some integration that runs with power automate that's you know really important that it is stays healthy well if we can have a trigger fire off hey it failed send out a Teams message and email and whatnot so we can kind of uh, dig into it right away. 
So I'm loving this feature. I've been waiting for this for a while. Um, so let me know in the comments what you think. And thanks for watching.